not cool, you know. So hold on, but so, so you was open to more. I was open to more, but it wasn't it wasn't what, my initial original ten. Yeah, mm-hmm. see, I was in that time. Even though God showed me her, I was still walking according to my preference. I liked light skinned, long hair, <laughs> petite models, you know, yeah. all that crazy nonsense. I like what I like, what I want. Yeah. And so the Lord had to show me that um, that that's where I was at. You know, I was just in that season. I was open to what God had for me, but I was still walking according to my preference. That's good. And it wasn't until I said, okay, man, I surrender. I'm tired of meeting them my way. You know, I need to meet someone, Lord, according to your way. And so um, so as I was at the concert, man, uh, she caught my attention. But I said, okay, you know, let me let me keep it moving. So after that, man, you know, over the, the seven years, it wasn't until year six, I think I said happy birthday to her. And, and, and the year before I even, you know, reached back out initially to even approach her. So... So, you, the, so you just watching her stories, or I mean, watching yeah, her. Yeah, he Facebook was watching posts. me. He actually DM yep. me a couple of times, and I never I saw them. I did. She ignored me, so, man. She so, ignored so me, man. The, my, she said she didn't see it. She oh man, I, yeah, I'm just I, I never saw <laughs> yeah. his DM. No, she didn't see it. <laughs> so this is the there's a, there's a there's a word even in that because you know some yeah. of us sisters are praying for husbands and they actually in your DMs you got to go check them. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right. But I I right. didn't see those at a particular you know that particular honest. time and so he had sent me a couple of messages that I didn't notice until. Right. The week I actually saw when yeah. he messaged me on um, March 17th. But prior to that, yeah. he had sent a message like, you look so beautiful today. And another yeah. one was a happy birthday message. Yep. So. Yep. And so to to fast forward to us meeting uh, now, the real DM. Yeah, DM, I didn't hear that. The, the DM, real DM <laughs> was um, so I had I had just gotten out of a relationship uh, some time after um, that. I think the year prior. So in 20. Uh, 19, I just broke up with someone who I thought I was going to marry, you know, and I was in love. So I thought I was happy. I was excited. Um, and the Lord had to show me that I was in a season where I had a lot of choices and the Lord spoke to me. I was frustrated. I'm like, man, why? It's not always working out. Mm. And God said, Ryan, you, when you have a lot of choices, don't make a choice. And I'm like, what do you mean, Lord? Look at this buffet of women out here. You know? <laughs> he said, have a lot of choices. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. make a choice. That would and frustrate the mess out of me. Right, 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 right. And yeah. so, and it wasn't until I went into prayer, man, and I sought the Lord, and I was reminded of even years before, I was always, you know, I was divorced for nine years. So every day in my empty, in, well, in my apartment, I would write on an empty plate my desires from the Lord. I, I wrote out what I wanted spiritually, emotionally, physically, sexually. I wanted everything that God has for me according to purpose. And so I was reminded of that plate. And God said, when you have a lot of choices, meaning an option between one or two or more people, he said, you don't make a choice until you meet someone that doesn't leave you another choice. Now you make her a decision. And many hold women. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I almost called you a nigga. I'm like, yeah, you. <laughs> Is that what we had today? Boy, that's what we had. Let's go, man. We in the Did deal, man. Did you say, hold on, say that one more again for the yes, people sir. in the back? Yes, sir. <laughs> Way in the back somewhere who's hidden, who's forgotten, who f- who forgot what love felt like, what it, what it looked like. Because many people you meet, you know, I think that was my frustration is that I was so frustrated it didn't work out. And God said, well, that's because you're expecting fruit from someone who was only supposed to sow a seed. (laughs) If you're a seed form, the best way you're going to remember love is that person that walked away from you. So the choice is when you have options. But a decision is when all the other choices have been narrowed down to the focus of one individual to say, wait a minute. Okay, my preference is. That's cool, but my purpose is I need you in my life so that I can be fulfilled through God. And so God said, don't make a choice when you have many choices. And it's honest, you know, everybody ain't blind. This is a fine sister singing (laughs) on stage, many platforms. Father's a pastor, you know, mom's doing well in life or dad's. So people, people have things going on in their life, but they don't, they don't, they can save themselves the headache by going through all these choices and sifting through. And God said, nope, don't make a choice when you have a lot of choices. Wait until you meet someone now that alleviates all the choices. And now you make that person a decision. And we date choices. 
We don't mm. we don't date decisions. That's why we don't get married. <laughs> mm. And so so that's what God God did for us is he had to show us because I believe 